Redneck Snack. Well, that is too short to be serious. I say that a lot, don't I? Life's too short to be serious. Well, today we're gonna have to be serious, and I hate, I hate to be this way, but that's just how it is. Probably about a week ago, Crumble had told me that Pink Sugar was moving on from the weekly lineup. And while I'm not completely upset about the news because I don't ever buy the Pink Sugar, I know many of you are. I know many of you are rejoicing. But in reality, today really is a bit of a sad day. Today is Saturday, April the 23rd. And we are getting ready to say goodbye to Pink Sugar. At least for now. If you love this cookie, by all means, you probably should go stock up. Could we see this cookie in a month? Possibly. Could it actually end up being six months? Yeah, it really could. It just really depends on what Crumble decides. It's in Crumble's hands. So I'm doing one more video for Pink Sugar as a tribute. Knowing full well, I have good opinions on it. I have rated it between a seven and an eight. It's a good cookie. It's a polarizing cookie, but it's a cookie that we should all be thankful for, for its uniqueness, for it being so special, and for it just representing Crumble so well. The pink is their color. It's a very eye-catching, attractive, color. Sugar cookie is something that most of us fondly enjoy. No, not particularly pink sugar. I'm just talking about sugar cookies in general. But when you add this distinct almond tasting icing, it really hits home. It's like it's tied to the Crumble brand. It's their thing. So, as I say goodbye, I did make a TikTok of a country song called Sugar attached to it. And if you have a heart like mine, maybe you'll cry. But I, I don't cry very often. So I didn't cry making this video or the TikTok. So, anyways, I know my slow talking, reminiscent self is not your favorite. But I had to put together this one last video. So, won't you join me? Oh, I'm playing with the Crumble Cookie singular box here. Won't you join with me? As I open up this Crumble box one last time. I look at the sugar cookie one last time. Not for the last time ever, but as... The last time we'll see it weekly. I pick it up. I'm not going to bite out of it. I might want to share with people. I do that. I show it to you. And I'm not going to smile. I'm not frowning either. That's a face of sadness. This feels like it's a memorial service. Even though this is not a death, this is not a goodbye forever. It's just goodbye to something that we're used to. It's like seeing a friend move away. And they tell you, you're not gonna see me every day or every week anymore. You're gonna see me every now and then. I'll come home. I'll come see you. So you know, usually I ask you to do things, certain things for me. Today, that's not going to happen. We're not going to ask any favors. This is a crumble cookie, sugar cookie farewell. So I just cut into the sugar cookie one last time. And I got a very tiny sliver because I've already had some of my crumble cookies pieces from this week, this morning. 
for breakfast. So, oh man, this thing is falling apart. I'm gonna pull the slice out. It's so crumbly, it's so soft. It's iconic. But one last time, Crumble. It's just so distinct. And I can see why people are polarized over this. Because the flavor is just odd. That almond extract, just odd. But I love it for what it is. And I, I firmly say it's a seven and a half. It's a good cookie, it's a unique cookie. It's not one that I love for its taste, but it's one that I love for how iconic it is. So, will you put all your pride aside and say it with me? Goodbye, pink sugar. You will be missed. Until next time, friend, I will see you around. Yeet, yeet.